I'm joined by PhD student Andrea Felicelli, who works under Professor Ron and Professor Chu at Purdue University to help develop uh, the whitest paint in the world. Their innovation has put them in the Guinness World Records and also won the 2023 Innovation Award in the Sustainability category by South by Southwest Conference and Festivals. And Andrea, this is such an amazing project to be part of. What has this experience been like for you to be involved? Yeah, absolutely. First of all, thank you so much for having me on here. Um, it has been a great project to be involved in. Um, climate change is something that I'm definitely uh, very passionate about in the fight against. Um, and it's been great to be a part of this project and feel that we're working on science that has these applications that can help to fight the effects of climate change and to be able to develop those technologies that could hopefully be implemented soon. What makes this paint different from just your ordinary white paint? The average white paint is white because it reflects all wavelengths of light in the wavelength spectrum that we call the visible spectrum. So those are the wavelengths that we're able to see with our human eyes. Um, however, the spectrum of solar radiation includes the visible spectrum, but it also includes ultraviolet wavelengths and near our IR wavelengths. So while other white paint mostly reflects in uh, that visible spectrum, so in our paint, we optimize it to be reflected in the entire solar spectrum of wavelengths. So all of the solar radiation gets reflected as opposed to just in those visible light wavelengths. Andrea, tell me, why do you think it's so important to develop this ultra white paint? Um, I know you kind of mentioned it a little bit at the beginning, but why again do you think it's so important? There's been a lot of um, studies in all the different ways that we can kind of make small changes to combat climate change. And one of them, of course, is always how can we reduce CO2 emissions? How can we reduce energy usage? Um, how can we uh, also deal with heating effects of climate change? And this paint kind of addresses all of those things because with the cooling effects, it reduces the need for air conditioning from traditional technologies that require energy usage, often coming from fossil fuel sources in an accessible form of a paintable material. And it also obviously provides cooling, so that's something that can also be used as rising uh, heat happens throughout the world. I do want to ask you, how can the average person benefit from this discovery that you guys have made? And what about plans to make it available commercially? Are those in the works? We are working with a commercial partner to commercialize our paint at the moment. Um, so hopefully that's something that will continue to progress along. Um, and I feel like uh, the average person will really be able to benefit because this paint is really just a paint, um, apart from being optimized for this use and for being able to cool under direct sunlight. The way it's applied, the composition is no different from paints that you get just at the hardware store. So uh, they can be applied um, on housing, on buildings. Uh, we also have uh, recently released a publication on a more lightweight version of the paint um, that can be used in aircraft, vehicles, wearable technology, since it has a uh, lower density and can, is better for weight sensitive applications. So this could potentially uh, be really impactful in just the average person's life. Well, you mentioned the weight. I know that's kind of where you have played the biggest role. Um, yeah. Is there still innovation to happen with this whitest paint in the world? Are there still improvements that you and your team hope to make? There's definitely things that we're working on. Um, any improvements that we can make in terms of environmental uh, safety, as well as um, the actual parameters of the paint are always a great thing. So it's always in the works. Is the biggest impact from the actual material uh, of the paint, or is it the color? That is it the reflective material? I know you guys use barium sulfate. Um, do you tell me a little bit about that, why it's so beneficial for us? What gives the paint um, that high reflectance in solar spectrum wavelengths is uh, 
the pigment that's used. So in the original paint that um, we published, it was barium sulfate. We also uh, uh, discussed some um, calcium carbonate. And in this latest iteration that's more lightweight, it's um, hexagonal boron nitride. All of these share the property of um, having good parameters for light scattering in these wavelengths, um, both because of the particle size um, and because of the particle shape. So in our paints, we have the typical materials that you tend to see in paints, a solvent, a uh, kind of binder material. We use um, acrylic in our uh, published works, which is very commonly used in commercial paints. But really what gives it that uh, high reflectance is the pigment that we add because it's specially optimized to be able to um, scatter light in a way that accomplishes that reflectance of solar wavelengths. You know, you talked about painting different surfaces, roofs, cars, planes, things like that. How does the dirt really kind of interact with the reflection of the whitest paint? So dirt can definitely uh, create an effect. Um, so a lot of our uh, work has also been in testing for uh, durability. One of these has been um, how our paints respond to water, how our paints respond to also any amount of vibration. Uh, we found that these perform similarly to other commercial paints that are currently in use. So there shouldn't be uh, durability issues beyond what's already present in current paints that are used. Um, and we also hope to keep further developing that to mitigate any negative effects as much as possible. You just didn't develop this overnight. This has been kind of years in the making. Exactly how much work and research, research went into developing the whitest paint in the world? Uh, yes, there was so much. Um, Professor Shulin Ron really um, was the uh, principal investigator and innovator behind this work. Um, before me, there were several other students who also worked in the whitest paint. It's really been um, more than a decade in development now, and uh, it's been a multi-person effort, um, and I feel very lucky to be involved in it. Well, I'm glad that you are, and I know that you're a PhD student at Purdue. Um, what excites you the most about being involved in research and the science world as a whole? Yeah, I, I realized, um, pretty soon uh, during my bachelor that I really enjoyed research. I really liked the development of new technologies and being at Purdue working in this lab, I really enjoy being able to play an active role in developing technologies that can help to mitigate the effects of climate change. If there's anything else you'd like the people to know about your development and your team's development about the whitest pain in the world? Yeah, it's just great to see all the public interest. It's great to see so many people who are really interested in how they can have a role in mitigating climate change effects and being interested in technologies that can help that. I really encourage people to continue paying a lot of attention um, as things continue to change and as new technologies continue to develop and as to how they can themselves um, contribute to that impact as well.